Dear viewers, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV and I hope you're well from wherever you're watching us. And I'd like to start, up, start us off by thanking you for those who've been supporting us to this level and without you, our channel would not have made it this far. So, there is a tweet from Raila Molodinga that, to me, I interpret as a strict warning to the Kenya Kwanza government to get to work and stop crying over spilled milk. And this is a tweet that, I, that was posted, I think, two days ago. And uh, I would like to read this tweet to you. So this is what Raila Molodinga says. Baba has left the country for a week's visit to several nations, starting with India. See you all when I'm back. The tweet goes further and says, Meanwhile, can William Ruto and Kenya Kwanzaa stop it with the lamentations? Can William Ruto and the Kenya Kwanzaa government stop it with the lamentations? For those who don't understand the meaning of lamentation, this is what it means. A passionate expression of grief or sorrow. Yani, kwa lugha nyingine ya kiswahili, ni kama mtu kulialia. Unapenda kulialia. You like lamenting. Unapenda kulialia, badala kufanya kazi yako, badala kufanya shuguli zako, unapenda kulialia. So that is what Traila Molodinga is telling Ruto. Wacha kulialia na uende kufanya kazi. Unajua msikilizaji, Kwa kipindi cha karibu mwezi mzima, and in fact, even before that month, this regarding Echagwa and Ruto have been complaining, telling Kenyans that they received, in fact, during the day, a specific reference to the day of oath taking. And that day, you remember very well that it was, there was a lot, there were so many heads of state, and in attendance was Museveni, the Ugandan long-serving president. You remember regarding Gachako saying that we were we have been left with a dilapidated, demoralizing economy. And this dilapidated has been taking over since that day. Many people keep referring to it. So, Raila Mulodinga anasema kwamba, badele ya Ruto kulialia, kusema kwamba, oh, Raila A, oh, Uhuru B, oh, Suji Matiangi C, O oh, kibicho di wafanye kazi walisema kwamba siku moja za kwanza that they will deliver within the first 100 days from the socket and it's you know it's almost half of 100 days and we've not seen a single achievement so far remember when the president before taking out of office the president said, the moment I will take this Bible, then I will make certain directives, and then automatically I will lower the prices of commodities so that the cost of living in Yazakua Chini. Okay, I'm not an economist, you know, and I'm not a CS, and I'm not a government operative, I'm not a government individual, but I know that the food subsidy was meant to cushion Kenyans against the high rising of commodities. If the Kenya Kwanza government is hell-bent or is intent in making sure that the people of the Republic of Kenya do not suffer, they would have introduced a food subsidy as a temporary solution so that Kenyans do not suffer this much. Whereas they will be implementing what they term as a long-term solution, that is the fertilizer subsidy that is meant to you know, reduce the prices of commodities as a long-term strategy. So Raila Molodinga is merely telling this Kenya Kwanza brigades that look here, get to work and stop crying over, over spilt milk and serve the people of the Republic of Kenya. Fulfill your mandates, fulfill your manifestos. That is a strong message to William Samuel and his team of Rigathi Gachago who keeps on crying over spilt milk. I'm not going to delve deep into that 
uh, the, the, the remarks of regarding Gachago when he said that we cannot import oil, we can't import diesel, we can't import petrol because there is no money in the treasury. And again, you remember that the treasury gave a response immediately that we have enough funds at our offshore accounts that can cater for any import of any kind. So that also dealt the Kenya Kwanzaa a blow. If you ask me, I'll tell you that Raida Monodinga is very smart and he knows very well that uh, this government might not deliver. And I've been saying this in my previous analysis and many analysts have talked about this inability of the current government to deliver. Most of the time, it becomes very tricky if you promise the citizens heaven and find yourself not being able to deliver even a single hotel. The promises that the Kenya Kwanzaa gave to the people of the Republic of Kenya were the reasons why, you know, some people voted for them. Maybe they did not win, but some people voted for the Kenya Kwanzaa government because of those promises that they were given. They were promised a lot of things. The people of the Republic of Kenya were promised a lot of things. So that's why Raila Molodinga is telling this government, look here, you people need to get to work na mfanye kazi na mpatia wanainchi kile mule wa ahidi. Unajua, <laughs> if you look at the recent, recent remarks, the postpone, postponement of the hustlers fund is again a blow to the hustlers uh, nation. They were pros, promised that it would be done as a matter of urgency, that fund of hustlers fund. But you listen to the president recently, he postponed that to, you know, somewhere in December. So December will be, I think, some few, like 20 days before, before the, the 100 days elapsed, the time that uh, Raila Molodinga and his team has given William Samoy Ruto to first deliver, because they say within the first 100 days they will do a number of things. So the under days have been given to them. So the recent remarks from Gachagua and Ruto that they cannot fulfill uh, the, the promises that they made that they, they fulfill within the first hundred days, that they cannot fulfill. And they are, the, the reason why they can't do that is because of the dilapidated economy that keep on accusing Uhuru Bugia Kenyatta of and and Raila Molodinga. So, those, all that is one of those factors that uh, William Samoy Ruto and Rigati Gachago have been saying as to be the reason why they cannot deliver according to the time frame that they promised the people of the Republic of Kenya. So, ladies and gentlemen, do you think that there is a deliberate plan by the Kenya Kwanza government? to scatter the promises that they give to the people of the Republic of Kenya. Can they share what you think about that below the comment section there? And can they share what you think about Raila Molodinga's tweet when he said that, meanwhile, can William Ruto and the Kenya Kwanzaa stop it with the lamentations? And I gave you a, a, a meaning of lamentation. And in Kiswahili, Nikulialia. Kulalamika, kupenda kulalamika, kulialia, crying over spilled milk. Ladies and gentlemen, please, if you are not subscribed to our channel, take a moment and subscribe to our channel. And once again, I'd like to say thank you so much for those who've been supporting our channel to this far. And it's because of your support that our channel has reached this level. And now, till we meet again for another analysis, please take care and be blessed.